Yo, what's up? This is your homie Ice Cube. Um, here to talk to my black folks. Um, you know, I just want to be straight up uh, because there's a lot of messages going out uh, about this election. Um, first and foremost, anybody telling you that you got to vote, that it's your duty, that you have to exercise the right, uh, and that um, people died for you to vote. For one, um, people did die, but nobody walked out their house to go die for you to vote. They were killed by probably some racists uh, that don't want to see us get anything. Um, but what I'm saying that to say this. Be skeptical of anybody telling you to vote and, and not uh, telling you to ask for anything or to tell you to just vote and not to get anything for your vote. That's not how it works. That's not the process. You don't vote just to vote. You vote because you're getting something or your community is getting something. So I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. OK, straight up. And this is my honest opinion. I don't sit there and vote because of just what black people can get. OK, it, it's not about just black folks like I, I because in the beginning he said this is a message to black people, but. Let me like real talk. I don't just vote or I won't be voting because I'm this is my first year voting. So I'm saying this now. I won't be voting based off what only black folks can get, what only the black community can get. But what can the American people, the citizens of America can get, you know, what I'm saying out of the politician that we vote for, whoever it may be. You know, what I'm saying what can they get out of, you know, being Kamala being president? What can we all get from her being president? What can we all get? Because, again, whatever president you vote into office, that affects everybody. It's not just the black community it affects. You know, what I'm saying now, granted, I understand the history of black folks. I understand my history. I understand what I've been through, but I'm not the only person. I'm not the only race on. On this earth i'm not the only race that is in america you know what i'm saying so when i'm voting i'm voting for okay what can what is this president going to do for my black people for my white people for my hispanic people for my channel like what is going to do for the american people you know what i'm saying like what what is this president going to do for all of us how can we all benefit from this person being president how can we be able to trust this person to lead us and, and to making america better you know what i'm saying like the, and that goes for anything i'm not just saying as a trump statement i'm actually saying that for anybody you know what i'm saying because i said before this is my first year vote so I'm getting more into politics. Now, if Kamala had better policies than, than Trump and she had policies that was more about God, I would vote for Kamala. If but but granted, you know, I mean, not granted, but Trump, he has the policies that are more about the Bible is, is more policies leading towards a godly kingdom. So that's why I'm a vote for. I'm voting for Trump because of his policies. You know what I'm saying? It's not simply about. What can a black person get? Like, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I care about all of us as citizens of America. What can we all get? What can we all benefit from? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I took that wrong, but y'all let me know what y'all feel about that. But anyway, we're going to finish because it's a clip after this that I want to show y'all, bro. And I kind of see where he coming from a little bit based off this other clip that I seen. But we're going to finish this one. Everybody that's telling you that, man, look at them and say, What's it? what are you getting? Because people that just want you to vote and not ask for nothing, people that's in power that want you to vote but don't want you to get anything or not asking for you to get anything economically, mm. they suspect straight up. Because a lot of people been in place for a long time and we ain't got shit. That shit going to end. That shit going to end. We going to get what we supposed to get. Period. And anybody asking you not to ask, I wouldn't listen to them. Because that's the process. Every community asks for what they want. And we going to do the same goddamn thing. Okay. Now, 
this is why I said this is this is this is a part of the reason why I said I get where he's coming from in a sense because this next clip that I'm gonna show y'all, bro, this right here pissed me off. Okay, it pissed me off when I fi when I found out how much money these migrants was freaking getting you know what i'm saying for coming over to america like how much the government was actually paying these people you feel me so i feel like as the american people yeah we should ask for something as the whole as the american people now the only thing that threw me off was obviously he said this is this is a message for his black people or black people in general you know what i'm saying and i just want people to understand like i understand the culture of black of black people i'm not against my people you know what i'm saying i love my people i love everybody you feel me but the problem that i have is that we can't sit there and and kind of just just turn a blind eye to everyone else that is american citizens it's like okay what uh, what as a people can we get from from the government because if the government is paying our tax our tax money the, the, we working hard for people to come into our country and just to take over stuff, to take our jobs, to take all the money that we're putting into the government. Like this is this clip right here. Prepare yourself. You're finna get pissed off. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you haven't seen this already, right now I got 44.3k views, so it's not that that big. But this right here, man, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just play it. I'm gonna just play the video. All right, come on. No, fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps. And five thousand dollars in cash money. Monthly. Every month they're getting that. Yes. And they're getting six months free rent. But this was the first time I heard about it. Now they're I've heard it's two years free rent. Getting section A first prioritized before the citizens. Oh by, wow. by the way, if you don't Battle. Oh, okay. They already said the name right there. Venezuelans. I think that's how you say it. I, look, I, I, look. I'm not. I don't care. I don't care how how you say it. I, I really don't care. But Venezuelans or whatever. Yeah. This is what they getting. These are the benefits that they're getting. And I'm a. Uh, this junk is crazy, bro. Citizens. Wow. So the Venezuelan migrants that are coming in here, they are getting six months free rent. Fifteen. Because there's a lot of people, you know, that need help with Medicaid and food stamps and they get rejected. You tell me about the people that you've seen on the streets collecting clothes. Um, by my house, there's a Walgreens. There's a lot of families that go stand by the door with a pamphlet saying they need money and food. And they're Venezuelans getting money. And then they go in the bus and don't pay. Go in the trains, don't pay. And they're not getting in trouble for none, none of the wrong things they're doing. They can commit a crime or steal something and nothing happens to them. Nothing happens. They get away with everything. By my house, a car passed by. It said Venezuela in the back. Winch, no, in the front windshield said Venezuela. And on the side of the window, they said Trump del Rock. And they drove by my house. This is, bro, that junk is crazy. Fam, this is why I say I, I understand where Ice Cube is coming from. But I'm not going to just say black people should ask for something. We as the American people should be asking for something now. Because if you're telling me we're paying art, and look, I pay taxes. We all pay taxes. If you got a job, a nine to five, you bet, even if you are an entrepreneur, YouTube, I got to pay taxes. So therefore, I'm saying like at the end of the day, it's like, bro, if these people are getting our hard working money and this is what the democratic party is spending our money on is these migrants to come in and then vote without being a citizen because they want more votes to continue to take over our country i'm sorry to ruin our country we need to be asking for something as the american people there has to be something that we need to ask for now because now we need the we need the this amount of money that y'all giving to the venezuelans bro we need that money bro it's people out here struggling with food came by food, barely can afford food, yet they're getting $15,000 in food stamps. And how I know this to be true is because there's a video circling the internet right now where a uh, cashier, Venezuelan came in, cashier, uh, whatever he used, you know, on the when you use your food stamp card or whatever, you ever have food stamps, when you use the card, you get a receipt, it showed up the, the, the remaining balance. The remaining balance, it said $13,000, fam. Thir these people are taking over our country. 
We are letting these people in our country to take over in our states. Chicago is where I'm from, and that's where I live. So to hear this, and I'm like, bro, it, I'm I'm working my butt off just just so I can allow a migrant to come in and take over, bro. That's ridiculous, fam. Fifteen thousand dollars, five thousand dollars in cash, bro. Yet when people are applying to food stamps, y'all say we make too much. It, it, it's, I know a lot of people apply for food stamps. Oh, you make too much. You uh, now I I make too much, but yet you're giving. $15,000 to Venezuelans? Like, come on, bro. Like, let make it make sense. So I get where Ice Cube is coming from. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people, they got different opinions about what Ice Cube said. You know, a lot of a lot of people agree with him. A lot of people disagree. I disagree to a certain extent. I don't believe that black people should be the only one asked for reparations or whatever it is that he was aiming towards. I think it was reparations that he was really was aiming for. But I feel like we as the American people need to be asking for something as a whole. We all need money now. We all Because if you're going to allow people in our country to take over and not be citizens of this country, what about the citizens in this country? We should prioritize America first and then worry about, not even then worry about everybody else, bro. We need to worry about what's in our country first. Because if we don't worry about what's in our country, worry about somebody else's country, bro, our country will continue to crumble into pieces, bro. Because y'all not caring about the American people, the people that actually was born and raised here. What about the people that fought for this country? I haven't personally fought for this country. I was going to join the Marines, but I kept feeling the, the ass fab or whatever. But that's what's that's the point. The point that I'm making is that it's people that fought for this country. You got homeless veterans, but yet we don't take care of them. We we sit there, we give our money to the Venezuelans, we give our money to to, to the other migrants in New York. I know y'all just seen the video that I posted yesterday. Migrants, New York. Come on, bruh. They and four star hotels, but yet it's people on the street, veterans that serve this country that that was dying for America. And yet they on the streets. I'm sorry. I'm getting passionate about this, bro, because <laughs> this junk is crazy, bro. This junk is crazy. Now, like I said, and I'm going to say it again because I'm going to say it in every single video. I'm Jesus first of 2024. I believe that Jesus is going to come back. I'm Jesus first. You know what I'm saying? I could care less about the politics. Like, I'm, I care about them. I, I, I'm into it. But I'm saying that I'm always going to be Jesus first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will always be straight no matter what. No matter who get in office, I will be straight because I put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And I feel like we all should do that. You know what I'm saying? I just got to let people be. I just got to let that be known. You know what I'm saying? Because not too many people, they 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 so worried about, you know, they they whole faith is in another man to save America. I believe the only man that can save America who died on the cross for your sins and who is perfect is our risen and our resurrected uh, I resurrect the Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the only one who can save America. You know what I'm saying? But I believe in we need to continue to pray for Donald Trump and pray that Donald Trump is being led by God to, to, to truly lead this country down the right path and not back into destruction because we have fallen as a country because of who we elected into office the last four years. For the last four years, we've been just falling, falling down, down, down for real. This is crazy, bro. This is why we cannot keep voting for Democrat parties or just Democrats in period. Because, bro, we vote for Kamala. She's going to, this is exactly what they're going to do. They're going to continue to give our hard work and money to these, to these people. And, and this is this is the type of videos we're going to continue to see on the internet. This is crazy, bro. But anyways, shout out to um Ice Cube, man. You know what I'm saying? For standing up. I, like I said, I'm, I'm for the American people. I'm not just for one particular race or one particular race group, culture. I'm for the American people. I'm for the citizens of this country. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I stand by. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, shout out to Ice Cube, man. Shout out to this lady that interviewed this other lady and telling us what they're giving these people. Uh, so, yeah, man, hit the like button, subscribe, to our post notifications, be your boy, Depend. I love each and one of y'all, man. Thank you for all the love and support. Continue to support this channel. If you do want to subscribe to my second channel, support that channel. I do have a podcast channel where I spread the love of Jesus Christ. So make Make sure y'all go subscribe to that channel because that channel busting. I ain't gonna lie to you. Send the leash box below. I'm lying. It's not. But the Say Yes podcast, look it up. You, you see us saying you find it. I'm gonna put it in the description box below eventually. But yeah, man, I love each and one of y'all, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.